Welcome to Excel Magic Trick 1829. Now in this video, last video, and the next three videos, we're talking about the original lookup function all the way back in 1979 in VisiCalc lookup. And the thing is, there's various situations where the original lookup function beats XLOOKUP. So in this video, we'll see how lookup rules for a revenue calculation. Now be sure and download this file. On this sheet, there's some notes. And all of these examples come from my The Only App That Matters book, of course, available at Amazon. Now here's the situation. We have number of rolls of fences that we sold. And over here, here's the price per roll based on quantity. Now I don't really need all this detail here. I want a single cell formula that just tells me total revenue. But if I did it the long way, I could use XLOOKUP. But again, we're going to have to use five arguments when we're doing approximate match lookup. So we look up the price for each row. Then we calculate revenue, price time, number of rolls. Then we come over and sum. Now we could do a single cell formula with XLOOKUP, but there's five arguments. And why bother when our lookup table has the two requirements? First column sorted, and more rows than columns. So we're going to use lookup. I need to look up every single row simultaneously. So we'll do a function argument or array operation right in lookup value. Control Shift down arrow, Control backspace to jump back to the active cell, comma. And just like last video, we're going to highlight the whole table. Lookup automatically does approximate match lookup. And it always looks up the item from the last column in the lookup table. Now if I enter this, something's in the way. There's all the prices, exactly the same number of rows as this column right here. So I need to multiply it. And I'm not going to use sum and multiplication. Because I'm multiplying two arrays and then adding, I'm going to use the built-in function sum product. There's the array of prices, comma. The array of number of rows, Control Shift down arrow, Control Backspace. Now you absolutely could use sum and simply multiply these, but I've done tests over the years, including in my the only app that matters book. And sum product when we're multiplying arrays, if you compare it against sum with a direct multiplication operator. That tends to calculate more slowly. So that's it. That's our single cell formula. So you get to decide. You can do one, two, three formulas. There they are. We can do this one long one right here. No problem. That one could withstand a sort. But I'm using lookup and some product. All right, we'll see you next lookup Excel magic trick.